to this game seven back here in Miami. The officials, Joe Crawford, Dick Trevetta, Ed F. Rockham are underway with the Heat controlling the opening tip. Dalty Bullets picks up Damon Jones. Wayne Wade being guarded by the longer and bigger Payton Prince. And here's the kid on the hill. Out to Wade. Gives it back. And a three-second violation is called. Marv, I wouldn't be shocked in the first five minutes of this game to be a lot of turnovers, a lot of missed shots. Take about five minutes to get the butterflies away from these guys in 43 minutes of good basketball. But don't, don't expect to be each team to be very crisp here early. I'm nervous right now for <laughs> these guys. I mean, this atmosphere is incredible. And Wallace going right at Shaquille O'Neal. Wallace with the rebound, kicks it out. Prince being played by Wade here at the start. You can see the lack of mobility for Dwayne Wade, as you'd expect. And Wallace trying to go black. Rebound it by Hassel. Wade handles. And Van Gundy saying we will not see Dwayne Wade bring it out of the backcourt. His first attempt came up short as he hit the floor. So they have five on four. Wade able to hustle back. Rasheed Wallace missing the layup. I was just watching Dwayne Wade right now. He looks like he's going half speed. It looks like he's just trying to find his way in this game. Jack has been able to get off early in every game. He's got right I thought in game six we saw a quick double team from Detroit early. Looks like they're going to let Wallace play Shaq one on one here to start. A minute and a half in. Richard Hamilton. Guarded by Eddie Jones. And what a surprise to handle that pass. Here's Prince. Wade was blocked off. Take shot. Prince is tied. Well, I think it was smart there. Ben Wallace had the open shot. Didn't take it. Swung the ball to Tayshawn Prince. And then went, went and set the screen for him. And Shaq was late getting there. And he had the open shot. The other night in Detroit, Prince got off to the slow start. But came on strong. Here is Shaq. Pistons back to the offense. And Wallace setting the pick. And pass. Wallace trying to go cross court. Wade gives it back to Jones. Damon Jones steps back and fires too strong. Well, you could see Dwayne Wade that time gave the ball up to Damon Jones. Normally, he would have tried to make an explosive move to the basket. And that was knocked away. From Hamilton. I would think, guys, that all Stan Van Gundy is looking for is a presence on the part of Wayne. Downtown. That's my wild card pick tonight for Miami. They can't win if he doesn't play well. He played well in game one and game three. Struggled in the others. They need a big game from Eddie Jones tonight. Prince posting up on Wayne. Prince, Prince with the rebound. The tip by Rasheed Wallace. It is called offensive interference, so Miami will get it back. I think this is a key guy in this game, too, Rasheed Wallace. We've seen how his play has been a barometer of sorts in this series for the Pistons. You see him hang on the rim with that right hand. That's an automatic offensive goaltending. Rasheed the other night, only 3 of 13, did have 9 rebounds, hit that 3 right at the end of the first half. Coming off the, the bad performance in game five. Oh, Wade was trying to draw a foul. Last touch by Detroit. Still looks moving a little gingerly here. Lays himself out. A lot of times he tries to draw fouls on these plays. That time he jumped away from the contact. So I think he needs something good to happen here quickly to get him emotionally in this game. Has one. Jones with the rebound. Jones with the foul. Eddie Jones with the three-pointer. And then the follow-up shot to extend the Miami lead to 7-2. Well, it's interesting. Tayshawn Prince is guarding Dwayne Wade. Here's Rip Hamilton for the open jumper. He buries it. And they have moved uh, Rip Hamilton back over on Eddie Jones. That means Eddie Jones should be able to get to the offensive boards, maybe get some rebounds like he did on that last possession. Wayne Wade playing with 
an extremely painful injury. Stan Van Gundy telling us it's more of a pain management problem. You hate to have those kind of problems. His shot is able to stop, gets the step on Ben Wallace. And there's no question that Ben Wallace's psyche has been played with by Shaquille O'Neal, who has been pounding him, usually in the first half. He's been pounding him, but uh, I think Wallace has done a pretty nice job on him. Shaq's numbers have not been terrific. Ball goes out of bounds back to Detroit. You know, a year ago, everybody said, wow, what a great job Ben Wallace did on Shaq in the finals. He averaged 28 points a game. You know, Wallace is doing a nice job. He can't guard him one-on-one, -on -one, but nobody can. Well, see what he's going to have to do, Marv. He's going to have to do it for a in the second half as well. He can't have a drop-off. Here's Tayshaun, excuse me, uh, Johnson Phillips. But, but they need big rebounds out of Shaq tonight. A 13, 14, 15 rebound game from him. Don't you think it's more of the bruised thigh injury holding Shaq down as Wade is not able to hit, and it's rebounded by Rasheed Wallace. The numbers are not that impressive when you look at what Shaquille O'Neal has done, but he's playing through an injury. Oh, especially when you look at the first quarter numbers. We've talked about it all series. There's going to be a foul on Wade with Prince trying to get to the rim. But his first quarter numbers have been phenomenal. Those numbers, just pedestrian for him. 19.7 boards. He can do that in his sleep. But absolutely, Marvin, that thigh is an issue, especially in the second half. But I do think he's looked better and better as the series has gone on. We talked last couple of games as Hamilton has hit on the drive about the, the fact that Ben Wallace, except for a couple of halves in the series, has not shown the usual energy that we've seen. Larry Brown was was talking about he said he feels that Shaquille O'Neal even though he's not putting up huge numbers is uh, affecting Ben's game particularly at the the offensive end now people say what offense but we've seen no offense in this series Richard Hamilton able to hit so Miami now leads 9-6 well that's a breath of fresh air for Detroit Steve you saw, talked about it in the open how he has not shot well and had the big games down here they need that he's a barometer of the efficiency of their offense here is Jones rebounded by Rasheed Wallace Miami with a three-point lead beautiful move by Phillips try to go to the other side retrieved by Ben Wallace Here's Tayshaun Prince for three, and the game is tied at nine. Another one of those second-chance points. It's a three-pointer, so Miami on that miss has got to sprint back because Detroit is going to look for early offense, and then Prince gets the open three off the rebound. And you saw Phillips go right past Wade, so he is not moving very well laterally at this point at all. Marv, he played in the fourth quarter of the night, and Stan Van Gundy got some criticism for that. I thought it was a good move with a day off. I thought he needed the conditioning, but that's where he's struggling, I think, as much as anything. It's his conditioning late in game. Well, on the other side, there was the risk right. factor. Had, had Shaq re-injured that five, I think we'll be talking about something else now. He's able to score on the reverse, and Miami leads by a beautiful feed and great penetration from Wade. Marv, you talked about it. The presence of Dwayne Wade is so key for this team. Keel O'Neal, Marv, you said off to his best first quarter start tonight, 10 points, 5 of 6. And you can see this is updated now through the first quarter of this series. He scored 54 points. And the rest of the game, only 73. That's what I was talking about earlier. This cannot be one of those games where he has a drop-off in the second, third, and fourth quarters. They're gonna need him throughout. He's getting a rest now. Zoe is in the game. And the points in the paint tonight, 16 points in the paint in the first quarter, which bodes very well for Miami. They have been very good on the home floor, getting that ball inside. Wayne slashing and scoring it well. And you can see the numbers there, the first three home games, what they were points in the paint and what they are tonight. Piston started only six of 15 from the field, and they hit four or five to end the quarter, led by Rasheed Wallace, who's Hit three in a row. Shot clock at one. Hamilton got it off and scored. Oh, man, tough shot right over Alonzo Mourning. Looked like Eddie Jones got shaken up. Hamilton five of five from the floor, and the game is tied. Dooling and Wade at the guards. Morning with Haslam and Eddie Jones up front. Wade's pass deflected away. It'll be Miami ball. Let's go over to Craig Sager.
Well, Damon Jones, another injury. He's in the locker room right now being treated for a sprained left ankle. Remember, he has a bruised right heel, also a sprained left ankle. He should return. Doug was also talking about the substitution patterns where Dwayne Wade comes out every once in a while when Shaq's on the floor. According to Stan Van Gundy, if he does not get in foul trouble, he may leave him out there the entire game. The idea is to keep it warm and loose. All right, thanks, Craig. We're just talking about that uh, during the commercial break. You wonder if he is better off staying on the floor. The problem is he has a 30-minute break at halftime, so he's going to have to do something to stay warm in that locker room. Well, they'll keep some heat on it, but how about the level of conditioning? This guy hasn't done anything now in three or four days. He's going to come out here for like 48 minutes. That's incredible. Antonio McDice not able to hit, but Tayshawn Prince on the follow. McDice and Lindsey Hunter have just checked in. Detroit is taking a 25-23 lead. And again, the Pistons putting some pressure on the ball as Dooling moves it across. Who's going to score now for Miami with Shaq on the bench? Is it this man? He looks like he's a little out of rhythm with that shot right now. And he thought he was fouled. Here comes Hunter putting the speed on. Prince passed out of three. McDice played by Morning. Hamilton spinning his way on Dooling and gives it up. Good ball movement, though, by Detroit. Everybody touching the ball, and Hamilton able to finish. It's almost like two hip Hamiltons. He throws the ball, and he disappears, and then he gets it back and scores. I mean, this guy is amazing. He's off to a great start here tonight, Steve. You talked about his starts. He's 6 of 6 for 12 points. So he's been the, the, the calming factor for this Detroit Pistons team. And shooting just 36% in the three previous games here in Miami, in Miami but has not missed here. Look at the movement without the ball. Well, dribble handoff from Ben Wallace. Knocks down another one. You know, you've got to try to not think about the consequences that if you lose, you're done. Or, you know, I mean, you can't because then you put so much pressure. You've got to try to make as many good thoughts. And, Mark, keep the game simple. Don't try to break out anything. Keep the game very simple and count on the basics. So much easier said than done, though, because you've got millions of fans around the country who are cheering for you. you got... 20,000 people in the arena. Cooler with the slam. Wow. But there is so much pressure out here, and you've got to somehow let it go and just let the ball fly and just play. Is it more of the fear of failure? Absolutely. I think so, yes. I agree with that. To, to be the GOAT in a game like this will live with you forever. I think that's what every player fears. That building field goal stopped the 10 0 run by the Pistons. Detroit has scored on seven of their last eight trips down court, make it eight of the last nine as Ben Wallace is able to hit that short jumper. And as we've talked about, when Detroit executes offensively, now they can put pressure up the floor, get into their half court defense, where they are absolutely lethal. Alonzo Morning got an excellent position. Detroit by two, three minutes gone by. In the second quarter, Marv Albert, Doug Collins, Steve Kerr, we have Craig Sager and David Aldrich working the sideline. It is game seven of the Eastern Conference final series. The winner heads to the NBA Finals to meet up with the San Antonio Spurs. Rasul Butler just came on. He's had the hot hand in recent games. Lindsey Hunter. Hunter and Hamilton in the backcourt. McDice up front with Prince and Ben Wallace. Rolsey Phillips getting set to return. Hamilton, that's a two-point attempt and a rare miss by Hamilton. Dueling and Wade now in the backcourt with Butler up front along with Sporting and Haslam. Neil O'Neill getting a rest after the outstanding start. Butler with the move and an offensive foul. Butler hooking the defender, the ball back to the Pistons. Well, you can see this young man's confidence from when this series started till now. He's had two terrific games, really five and six, where he had 14 and 13 points in both those games. What's the left hand? When you get that out like that, that's an automatic foul. Trying to get down that low post and take advantage of maybe a little size that he has over Rip Hamilton. Shaquille O'Neal returns. Let's check in with David Aldridge. David? Well, guys, the original Stevie Wonder actually called several Detroit Pistons players this morning after shoot-around. He talked to Chauncey Billups. He talked with Tayshaun Prince and Ben Wallace. Uh, Steve Wonder is from Michigan, from Saginaw. He said, guys, I want to come home for the NBA Finals. He's going to be performing. He told the guys good luck. And, Steve, he wants to do some tracks with you at Hit City <laughs> next week, I understand. I'm glad that's all it is. I thought maybe he wanted to file suit against us for... Uh, 
for our uh, title of our little deal that we do. Foul is called on on Hunter. Our little deal. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. It's a little you deal. Have a deal. Well, there is no deal at this point. I'm hoping to get one. Maybe some free Bud Light or something. You know, Steve, watching Rip Hamilton tonight, Miami's giving him too much room off these screens. They're trying to avoid the screens and slip up through the inside. And he's just fading and catching that ball, and they're not even anywhere near him. They're not even contesting his shots. They've got to stay attached to him and fight him all the way and keep their body on him. As you saw Dwayne Wade sitting down, he went the first 17 minutes. Here's Butler for three, rebounded by Phillips. So the numbers on Wade, two of six, two assists. And he gets a rest. McDuck's open. Yes. And this is the biggest lead of the night for the Pistons. Well, it's a far cry from how the Pistons' big man, big man shot the ball the other night. They could not make shots, although they got plenty at the basket tonight, knocking those open jumpers down. O'Neal. Rebounded by Rasheed Wallace. Hunter looking for a screen. Wanted McDice to clear out. Hunter for Phillips. And here's Rasheed Wallace from way downtown. Detroit 36, Miami 27. And this is where you're at home and you feel the other side of being home. Now the angst of this crowd. Now you got to fight through this. And who scores for you, Doug? You talked earlier on about this guy, Eddie Jones. Can he be a factor? Just two baskets early, morning with the tip in. Piston lead is seven, six minutes to go in the first half. Piston shooting 57% from the field. They hit 17 of 30, led by Hamilton. Seven of eight. The Dice. Yes. Antonio McDice again. That's his second field goal. See, they have Rasheed Wallace and McDice in the game at the same time with Zoe and Shaq. That means that all the screen rolls, those big guys are rolling out. That jump shot will be there if they can knock it down because the big men can't get there in time. Oh, Hunter going for the steal with those long arms. He was bothering dueling that entire possession and then was called. And how about the difference I was talking about? In game six, those three guys were eight of 30. Tonight, seven of 12. Wallace, four of six from the field, nine points. He's come up big in this first half. And guys, the first seven and a half minutes, Pistons turned it over five times. They shot only four of 11. Since then, no turnovers, and they have hit 14 of 20. Remember when I talked about the first five minutes of the game? That's almost when it played itself out there. It's the anxiety. And Dice with the steal. Here comes Hunter. And now they reset. Oh, beautiful fake by Phillips. He went around Wade, but there was some help, so he had to throw it out. Hunter for three. Rebounded by Morning. And Van Gundy going with a combination of Shaquille O'Neal and Alonzo Morning. Eddie Jones up front. Wayne Wade is back. He and Keon Dooling are at the guards. Foul on the dice. That is his first and team foul number three on Detroit. Well, what's happened now, you guys talked about their offensive execution. No turnovers in about the last 12 minutes. When they start making shots and take care of the ball, then there's nothing easy for Miami. That's why the Heat are desperate to score right now, just trying to go into Shaq and get one. Well, O'Neal with the tip. He had great position on the dice. And this is where Miami has got to collectively pull together defensively. They're a good defensive team, and they've got to start getting some stops. Have them back in the game now to play against the Sheet Wallace. Has them coming off the morning. Shot clock down to four. Down to two. There's Hunter. We're about to buy Eddie Jones. Shot in a battle with McDice 
And the call on the dunks. Last couple possessions, Detroit have got caught with Lindsey Hunter having the ball at the end of the shot clock. He's out there for his defense and to make open shots. So they've sort of hung him out the last couple possessions. they got to get that ball moving. See, Lindsey's going out of the game now. Eldon Campbell's coming in. McDice leaving. So now they've moved Tayshawn Prince down. To the, oh, excuse me. They've got Tayshawn Prince, a small forward, and Campbell with, the, with Rasheed Wallace. Eldon goes 7 feet, 280 pounds, 15-year man from Clemson. Here's Damon Jones checking back in, as Greg reported earlier. He departed with that sprained left ankle on top of the, the heel injury, so Damon will give it a shot. Wade using the pick. Here's Wade. And it's tipped from Rasheed Wallace to Chauncey Billups. Phillips for three. Campbell able to race to it. Out hustling O'Neill. How many times we see Mark tonight? Miami turn their heads and not get a body on anybody. Detroit just flash to the offensive board. Just a quicker team all around. Phillips from downtown. Chauncey Phillips. Detroit has opened up a 41-31 lead. It is their biggest advantage of the night. And they're starting to take control of the glass. 19 to 14 edge for the Pistons now. All out of bounds to Miami. And we've talked so often about second chance points, Doug. Saw three more right there. A 12-8 advantage for Detroit. Miami with 12 on the shot clock. Wade will throw in. Phillips on Damon Jones. Eddie Jones with a nice feed. Haskin with the bucket, and he is fouled. Campbell on the foul, his first. Haslam will go to the line. A reminder, the NBA Finals begin this Thursday, 9 o'clock Eastern time on ABC. Winner here tonight will take on the San Antonio Spurs starting on Thursday night. Once again, Haslam not able to complete the three-point play. This next three minutes here, Steve, is going to be so important for Miami. They've got to try to cut into this lead, maybe get it down to five or six going into half. They don't want to look at a double-digit deficit. Rasheed Wallace. Rebounded by O'Neal. Wade with the runner. And foul. Walking foul on Rasheed Wallace. Message from Stan Van Gundy to the Miami Heat. He said the reason we fell behind by 10 and the fact that we're down by five intermission has nothing to do with an ineffective Dwayne Wade or the fact that he has a rib injury. It has to do with the fact we're playing terrible pick and roll defense and we're being out rebounded, giving up too many second chance points. Do not expect a superhuman effort from Dwayne Wade. It's not there, but everybody else do their job, perform their role, and we can win this. Now to David Aldridge. Craig Larry Brown tried to get Rip Hamilton to forget about that turnover at the end of the first half. He said Rip Hamilton was phenomenal in the first half. He told his team, hey, the way we played the first four minutes of the game, for us to be ahead by five at the half, we're doing fine. Mark. All right, thanks, David. Rip Hamilton, 16 points in that first half. The block by Eddie Jones and Udonis Haslam came away with it. There's Wade, see moving in very deliberate fashion, trying to back his way on Hamilton, and then hits the turnaround. I think he's going to be much better in the second half. I think he got that out of his system. I think he knows he can play. He's got to stay away from his fourth foul. I expect a good second half from Dwayne Wade. He's got such a wonderful pace about his game normally, and I thought he got a little quick maybe in the first half from that frustration. I agree, Doug. I think he'll be a little slower and a little more solid here in the second half. Detroit's lead is now three. Rasheed Wallace too strong with that shot. Damon Jones, Wayne Wade at the guard, Eddie Jones, Shaquille O'Neal, Yadonis Haslip up front. Shaq has done it when there has been single coverage. Shaq with a jump hook rebounded by Ben Wallace. If they push him away from the basket, just an extra step, that jump hook is just a little short, and we see it a lot in the second half. Here is Hamilton. Getting back to Shaq, all 11 of his shots have come. Against single coverage, he has passed out of every double team. Haslam straight away. Miami with him one. He has really turned his game around. Remember, he struggled those first 
three ball games, but he made those three critical jumpers in the second half of game three. Since then, he's been terrific. 13-4 run by the Heat, going back to the second quarter. Prince with Detroit's first bucket in this third quarter. He may be their most consistent player throughout this series. He hasn't had the highs and lows of Rip Hamilton, but his numbers across the board have been basically the same every night. And remember in that opening game of the series, he did that magnificent job defensively on Dwayne Wade. Good box out by Phillips. Prince picked up on a switch by Damon Jones. Here's Prince. Trying to lob it. It was off the mark. Then Wallace able to save, and then Chauncey Phillips stepped out of bounds. It's amazing the difference in the turnover situation for Detroit here and at home. Steve talked about it tonight. That's, uh, what is that, eight turnovers for the Pistons? 14 points off turnovers for Miami. They only got two in game six. Three minutes gone by. We're in the third quarter. O'Neal with a nice drop step. O'Neal battling with Prince, and a foul is called. It's against the Pistons. It is on Prince. That is his second. Boy, Eddie Rush was all over that call. It looked like Shaq was in the midst of about five people, and after the move, you'll see the jump hook, and Wallace will take a little bit of a pounding there, but watch Prince pull down the arm. It's called for the foul. Larry Brown cannot believe it. Foul is called. It is on O'Neal as he became entangled with Ben Wallace off that inbounds pass. So that's number two on Shaq. He got away with the first bump, but then when he got that left arm away from his body, they'll get you every time. You cannot get that arm away from your chest. Detroit up by three. Nice play. Phillips for Hamilton was turned back. But the follow put down by Ben Wallace. That's his second field goal. He has four. Detroit 49. Miami 44. That's what penetration does. If you get to the rim and force the defense to react, you're going to have offensive rebounding opportunities. I don't know if anybody does it better than Detroit. They double up on Wade. Goes to the crossover and scores! Wayne Wade with a beautiful move. He threw the double team and somehow was able to slice his way in. And I think they called a delay of game, Marv, after that play. Next one will be a technical. Miami not allowing Detroit to inbound after the basket by Wade. Pistons lead by three. Eddie Jones defending on Rip Hamilton. Nice play, Ben Wallace. Hamilton to Rasheed Wallace to the open cutter, Ben Wallace. See, it's almost like you're playing against the zone. When you get that screen and roll, the guy punching up, it's like playing against the zone. You get it in the middle, and then you find the cutter, and that's what he does for Ben Wallace. O'Neal with the back door. Beautiful job. Eddie Jones from Shaquille O'Neal. That remind you of anything, Doug? That's the triangle. Oh, oh yeah. Right there. Corner film, hit the post, back door cut. The shot, his first assist. Phillips backs his way on Damon Jones. Phillips twisting and hits. That's a mismatch there, just size-wise and strength. Chauncey Phillips has been very, very you know, good tonight with his shot selection. Damon Jones has not scored tonight. 0-2 from the floor. Remember, he missed some time with that sprained left ankle. Phillips, 9.7 assists. Here's Wade. And a foul. Reach in. Rasheed Wallace going for the ball. Made contact. And Rush indicating number three on Rasheed Wallace. Take a look, Wade getting the penetration here, and he just gets that shoulder past Wallace, and the reach absolutely gets him all over the arm. But if you're Rasheed Wallace, you have to complain. It wouldn't be right if you didn't. <laughs> yes. Wade is four of five at the line during the season, a 76% free throw shooter. Thirteen points for Wade. They're going to need Shaq as well, though. Wade is playing better now, Marvin. Ever since that first quarter, 
Shaq is only one of six from the floor. He cannot have one of those halves or he lets the fatigue and lack of conditioning cost his team tonight. Way to six of Miami's ten points in this third quarter. Phillips, beautifully done. Phillips once again getting the step on Damon Jones. We haven't seen a lot of that this series. A couple times we've seen him post him up. And he's gone now twice in a row down to Phillips. As you said, Doug, he's got a major strength advantage over Jones. Pistons lead by five. Good play by Ben Wallace. Got a hand on him. Here comes Phillips. He has Hamilton. Tried about to go that route. And they pull it back. Rasheed Wallace. Yes. What a tough shot. Moving left off the dribble with a hand in his face. Miami now going through that little... Little time of angst once again we saw in the first half. They need to be able to get some stops. Foul on Rip Hamilton. Trying to knock the ball away from Wade as he crossed midcourt. Second on Hamilton for the Pistons. Their 13th foul. There's that talk, uh, shot that we were talking about. Dribble left. Look at this. A hand in the face going away. To see just a little of the talent that this Rasheed Wallace has. He is some kind of spectacular offensive player when he gets it going. Seven feet tall with long arms, and he shoots the ball above his head, so it's almost impossible to block. Wade with the hesitation move and gets the roll. And I think he called it. He's looking better and better. I, I think the first half got a lot out of his system. I think he sees now he can get it done. The question is, he's got to bring it on the defensive end, too, not just on one end. Pistons by five. Bad pass. Pass from on the intercept. Eddie Jones moves it across. O'Neal trying to go back door. Miami looking for a kick ball. It was deflected, though. Here's Prince. First three. Comes up short. And his last touch by Detroit. You see Pat Riley there, Marv, and uh, yesterday he worked out Dwayne Wade and he talked to him about, you know, if you're going to play, you can't be making faces and wincing and playing in pain. You've got to suck it up. You cannot let see the piss and see that you're hurting. Wade with the lob for O'Neal. The Pistons now lead by three with five minutes to play in the third. That's exactly what Shaq needed, an easy basket and not have to battle Ben Wallace down the block. Rasheed Wallace able to drill it from downtown. He has 14 points. He's 6 of 10 from the floor. Rasheed Wallace is yelling to you, Donna, don't, leave, don't me. leave me. Don't leave me. <laughs> and Detroit has hit seven of their last nine shots to hold Miami off here. And half of the same, don't you leave me? <laughs> 10 points for Yadonis Haslam. 60 to 56. Pistons. There's Phillips. He got the step. Will not count, but a foul is caught. Damon Jones, the foul call before the shot attempt. Uh, here's Wallace at that three point line and makes it so difficult. Yeah, there he is. Don't leave me. <laughs> don't leave me. But. Makes it so tough on Haslam because they're posting up Billups at one end. Haslam's trying to help out Damon Jones, but he can't recover all the way to the three-point line. You know, you guys are both so good at reading looks. I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> Foul is called. It is on O'Neal. That is number three. Let's go to David Aldridge. David? Well, guys, if anybody can empathize with Dwayne Wade, it's Isaiah Thomas, the Hall of Fame guard. You remember in 1988, game six of the finals, severely sprained his ankle and could only play a few minutes in the first half of game seven. He told me yesterday he has no regrets about playing. He said that after the injury, he started to feel sorry for himself, and then he started to get mad. And he said that a combination of anger and endorphins can probably get Dwayne Wade through this game. Marv? Well, here's Wade with the finger roll from 10 feet away. Marv, you said earlier that this does not quite drill his feet proportions. It's getting closer. I mean, think about what this guy's been through. He now has 18 points and three assists in this game. And Miami with him, too, with the ball. Three and a half to play in the third quarter. Dwayne Wade wants the basketball. 
Well, pass from Jennifer Eddie Jones, able to keep it alive. Now Wade has it, being played by Hamilton. Wade with the move and draws the foul. No idea he'd be this good. Same thing with Dwayne Wade. Otherwise, five teams wouldn't have passed on him in the draft. Look at that little floater up and over Tayshawn Prince. In this third quarter, he has 10 of Miami's 18 points here in the third. Detroit is led by as many as 10. Pistons now lead by two. Here's Wade taking all the way. And the game is tied at 60. Come on. This is amazing. Miami converting on their last six shot attempts. He's got to stay away from that fourth foul down in the post on Prince. I think that's going to be an offensive foul. And it was Wade who was able to draw the foul for Prince, his third. The ball back to the Heat. Back in Miami. You're looking at Dwayne Wade, who has scored 16 of the Heat's last 27 points. Five of five from the field here in the third quarter. I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, he's got it. I mean, he just has that, that calming influence, not only on his team, but on his own game. Finally, misses a shot, and he's overcome that frustration from that first half, Doug. And they, and they brought Lindsey Hunter in to try to cool him off. Lindsey Hunter, a terrific on-the-ball defender with those long arms. Hamilton is put, and a foul is called on Haslam. See, Marv, I think another thing that's happening in this quarter with Dwayne Wade taking over the game offensively, Shaq has had a chance to rest a little bit. So this should bode well for Miami that he'll have more energy. He expended so much early. Right now, he's been able to just sort of pick his spot to let Wade go to work. 13 foul on the Heat. This is the four. Hamilton, Ben Wallace, fires one up. Pistons have been on most of the loose balls. Shot clock running down, and it's a 24 second violation. How about poor Lindsey Hunter? That's the third time in this game he's ended up with the ball in his hands and the shot clock running out. Dueling terrific defense challenging that shot. And Keon Dueling in the game, he gets some speed and quickness. He's got to play under control, though, get his team into their offense. Dueling and wait at the guard. O'Neal has to at Eddie Jones up front. Two minutes to play in the third. Hunter got his hand on it. It'll be Miami ball. They have 12 on the shot clock. Uh, Lindsey Hunter is so tough to try to post up. He's quick, he's strong, and he gets up under your legs, and he just sort of pushes you off that block. Dueling setting it up. Here's Eddie Jones for three. On the loose court. You see Wallace all over. Udonis Haskell is called for the foul. It puts the Pistons over the limit, and that's number four on Rasheed. I think this is a crucial part of the game for Detroit because Rasheed has lost his temper several times in this series. You see him reaching and grabbing. You can't do that. Whether you get his hand or not, if you're flailing away, you're going to get the call. Rasheed can't believe it. Now he's got to maintain his composure here. This is a critical part of this ball game. And a solid game for Haslam, 79% free throw shooter during the regular season. Reminder, the NBA Finals will get underway this Thursday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time on ABC. The San Antonio Spurs awaiting the winner here between Miami and Detroit. Game one on Thursday. So Miami has taken the lead for the first time since early second quarter when they led 23-21. Eight unanswered for the Heat. Coming up on a minute and a half to play in the third. Hesitated on the shot. Shot clock to three. Here's Hamilton. Yes. And the game is tied at 62. Uh, he's gotten so good at being able to come off that dribble and pull up and take that shot. That was a big shot right there. Miami would have had a chance to possibly go up by four. And now with Wade out of the ballgame, look for Miami to go right back inside to the big fella. 
Bill Butler replacing Wayne Wade. Butler's pass knocked away by Hamilton. Shot clock winding down. Lindsey Hunter got caught with it again. This time he gets it to Rip Hamilton. Man, he squares his shoulder nicely. Knocks down the 15-footer. Dooling way off. That comes Hunter. Three on two for Detroit. Nice play. Antonio McDonough is able to finish. Pretty pass from Rip Hamilton. The Pistons have recaptured the lead. Final minute. Third quarter. Stan Van Gundy is furious with Keon Dooling and his shot selection there. He's saying, get the ball inside. What Dooling does, they collapse on O'Neal. Shaquille O'Neal drawing the double cover, ties the game at 64. And you heard Shaq say, come on, Keon, you know, bring me the ball now. Dwayne is out here. Hamilton is fouled by Dooling. Fourth team foul. It's a non-shooting affair, so the Pistons will put it in play. I think one of the things in the fourth quarter to keep our eye on as this game moves down is, is Miami going to have any answers for Chauncey Billups if he starts getting down in that low post? He's, he's had his way here in this third quarter. There is Billups for three. Butler clears it. I don't like that shot. I mean, it's only a three-second differential, so you're not going to get a two-for-one. I don't know why Chauncey shot that ball so quickly. They're on their feet here at American Airlines Arena. The game is tied at 64 for final seconds of the third. Going to the rim. Rebounded by O'Neal. Four seconds left in the third. Hunter, cut by Butler for the crossover. Hunter rejected by Haslam. You got us Haslam on the block. To Albert, Doug Collins, Steve Kerr, Craig Sager, David Aldridge on the sideline. Miami by two as this fourth quarter gets underway. Dwayne Wade back after a short rest. Shaquille O'Neal on the bench. Zoe is in the game. We'll see how much longer he can go without Jack. I think that's an offensive foul on Dooling, the first possession. That's the second on, on Dooling, who at times can be out of control he had that hot run shooting so well the early portion of the the postseason mark he gives you speed and quickness remember i talked about though he's got to get his team into their offense under pressure you can't fight that pressure move the basketball prince with the dice and ben wallace up front and dick pavetta makes the call that is against the heat that's the second on Haslam. I think dueling is very important in this fourth quarter because if he can be out on the floor, he can guard Rip Hamilton. That takes Dwayne Wade off of Hamilton and Prince. Wade can slide over and guard Hunter. So dueling needs to stay on the floor, make smart decisions, and help his club defensively. The foul is, we saw Hamilton draw the double morning, came out to help, and it released Ben Wallace. Ben finding the opening and fouled by Butler. Well, that's a very good foul. You don't want to give up a layup to Ben Wallace. You see the Pistons have only taken three free throws tonight. All of them by Billups. One of them a technical on the illegal defense. But all of a sudden, Miami's working themselves to quick fouls here, Mark. You do not want to get in the penalty early in the fourth quarter. It takes away your defensive aggression if you start shooting free throws so quickly. And you see Ben Wallace on the season, 43% at the line, 48 in the playoffs and misses on both. Building and Wade at the guard. Morning, Butler has him up front. Wade played by Hunter. Now they double up on Wade. Wade able to swing away. That shot way off and gathered in by Hamilton. Hamilton posting Dooling and a foul on Dooling. What, what is that, three team fouls already? And we've only played, uh, what, 52 seconds? Marv, that could be a huge stat going down the, the, going down the wire here tonight. And two of the three on Keon Dooling. Detroit Pistons. 54 wins during the regular season. There's Prince rejected by Morning. Alonzo Morning has come up big in the shot block department. Five 
Rejections game six. He's had four on several occasions. Rasheed Wallace hearing it from the crowd as he checks back in, replacing Ben Wallace. Now we're going to see the Pistons' best offensive lineup, at least on the front line, with Wallace and Antonio McDice. That means when Shaq comes back in the ballgame, he's got to go on one of the shooters. Well, Rip Hamilton has tied the game at 66. I don't know how you could just let Rip Hamilton come off so easy. The guy out of bounds has got to step back, and you got to switch off that. The guy guarding the guy out of bounds has got to take Rip Hamilton so he can't come off that screen. 20 points for Hamilton. He's hit 10 of 15 for the field. Here's Dooling. Keon giving Miami a two-point lead. A minute and a half gone by in the fourth quarter. Prince played by Butler. Hamilton using the pick. Shot clock down to six. Here's Hunter for three. Rebounded by Butler. That's four times or five times tonight. They caught Lindsey Hunter at the end of the clock with the basketball. They put him in a position to fail. Dooling backs it up. Dooling met on a switch by Rasheed Wallace. Dooling. saying if you're on the Miami bench that uh, no and then great shot 27 dribbles and a shot good possession and Shaq is on the bench getting some rest and they've increased increased the lead Miami by four Rasheed Wallace cuts it to a two-point heat lead the winner here tonight advances to the NBA finals beginning Thursday in San Antonio. We almost got caught with an eight second violation. Dooling for three. Rebounded by McDyke. I think you gotta go back to Shaq now. And Van Gundy will is standing up as we speak. There's not enough offense out there for Miami to totally rely on Keon Dooling at this point. Eddie Jones also getting set to check back. And here is McDyke. And you can't forget about Dwayne Wade. You got to get him the basketball. I know Dooling's hit a couple tough shots, but this is your bread and butter right here. And here's Wade for morning. He is fouled as McDice comes up hobbling. Antonio McDice shaking up. Remember now, he had a calf injury early in the season, and he's holding that right leg. We'll have to take a look at it, but he missed five games with a pulled calf muscle, so we'll have to check on that. Won the 1988 national title at Kansas. He's in his 22nd season as an NBA head coach, winning 987 regular season games and the NBA championship with the Pistons last year. And the question is, where will he be next season? Will it be back in Detroit? Will it be in Cleveland as president, general manager? Will it be in L.A.? Well, you know, Mark, first of all, let's hope that his health is at such where he can make the decision that if he wants to continue to coach, that he'll be able to do that because he is one of the finest coaches we've ever had in the NBA. But the question remains, what if he goes back to Detroit and say, I want to coach, and they think, well, maybe it's time for us to move in another direction. That would leave it open for him then to be able to coach somewhere else. So I think there's a lot of things. There's Joe Dumars. A lot of decisions have to be made here in Detroit. But first and foremost, let's hope that he has good enough health to be able to do whatever he wants to do. Offensive foul. on McDice who we saw hobbling off a moment ago apparently he's all right that's that's three on Antonio and for more on McDice let's go to David Aldridge yeah in the last play Alonzo Mourning ran into Antonio McDice's knee as you know McDice has had lots of problems with that knee over his career but Arnie Kanner said he's fine obviously he's back out there Mark all right thanks David yes Antonio McDice has come back from three surgeries on his left knee with a 19 month period Miami in possession, they lead by three. O'Neal guarded by McDice, goes right out. Well, he can't guard it, he's too small. You know, interesting, Shaq pumped that ball and he put it down on the floor and then he dribbled it. I think that should have been double dribble. That's the biggest lead of the night for Miami. McDice forced it, good job by Haslam. 
if Detroit's going to play this lineup against Shaq on the defensive end, they've got to take advantage of him at the other side offensively. Put him in some screen and rolls. And let's see what the call is here. A traveling violation. Shaq was hoping for a foul, but it was the old pull the chair maneuver by Rasheed Wallace. Here's that play we're talking about. All right, now watch this. He catches the ball, and he puts it on the floor, and then he dribbles it. Yep. I mean, it wasn't a dribble, though. He just kind of laid it on the you floor. You can't put it on the floor, though. You cannot put it on the floor. That's considered, if that ball goes down on the floor like that, that's considered a, a dribble. Miami with a five-point lead, seven and a half remaining in this fourth quarter. Hamilton got it tightly by Eddie Jones. Nice job by Jones. Shot clock to three. Here's Ben Wallace. Advancing it to Haslam, who was met by Rasheed Wallace. We have not received the official call. It is on Wallace, and that is number five. See, Larry Brown wanted to be able to play Wallace on Shaq in the fourth quarter because he's bigger than either Wallace or uh, McDice. Now he comes in with Eldon Campbell, Marv, and in doing that, he gets a pretty good defender, but he loses some offense. So this is a tough situation now for Detroit to be in, but their execution has left them. Their offense now, as Miami's picked up their defense, is falling apart. Well, look at the front line now. You've got Eldon Campbell and Ben Wallace together. These guys rarely play together. Now all of a sudden, there's seven minutes to go in the deciding game, the conference finals. They've got to find a way to find some rhythm offensively. Look for Chauncey Phillips to start getting involved offensively against Damon Jones. 8-2 run by Miami. And the Shaq can go double him That's now right. because he's guarding Campbell. And it's Campbell with the shot. Swept by Jones. That's right. It takes his post up away because Shaq does not have to worry about guarding Eldon Campbell or Ben Wallace. Wade gets it right to O'Neal. Here's the double. Hamilton over. O'Neal. Perhaps steps on that move by Shaquille. Hamilton, guided by Eddie Jones. Prince, yes. What a big basket. Miami's had about three possessions with a chance to go up eight. They couldn't do it. And Detroit cuts it to four, six minutes to go. Stan Van Gundy going with Damon Jones. Dwayne Wade in the backcourt. Shaquille O'Neal, Dallas Hassler, Eddie Jones. Up front, he has a starting lineup on the floor. Here is Wade called for the offensive foul. And Wayne pleading with Dick Pavetta, but it is on Wade, and that is number four. Poise is going to be the ultimate word here now. As we go down the stretch, he did lower his right shoulder. Rip Hamilton went underneath that screen and met him there on the baseline. They didn't like it, but he dipped that right shoulder. Remember a couple of games back, Wayne Wade suffered the injury with that, that crossover dribble. Phillips coming up short. The save by Campbell. Shot clock down to seven. Phillips passed on a three. Campbell and a foul. Big trainer Ron Culp from the Miami Heat monitoring Wayne Wade's injury, applying heat during timeout, trying to keep it loose and warm. Ron Culp deserves a lot of credit to even have this starting five and shape enough to play with all the injuries to the Miami Heat. He is in his 17th year as the athletic trainer and travel coordinator of the team, the only one this team has ever had. He's been in the league for 33 years, has never missed a game or a practice. He is also tending to his wife, Marilyn, who suffered a stroke earlier in the playoff. She is at Baptist Hospital. She never misses a game. She's watching on TNT. We wish her a speedy recovery. Thank you, Craig. Well, Stan Van Gundy had mentioned that the injury suffered by Dwayne Wade will lead to pain management. He said that's the problem. And to this point, he's managing the, the pain quite well. Of course, it's easy for us to say that. Yes. <laughs> but he has he's been sensational over 38 minutes, 20 points, three assists. He's at 7 of 16 from the field. Miami now leads 74. 71, five and a half remaining in the fourth. They double up on Wade. Aspen goes cross court. Eddie Jones met by St. John Prince. Shot clock running down. Haslam has to shoot. And the 
did O'Neal mistimed on the rebound. Harry Brown stays with Eldon Campbell. Ben Wallace and Tayshawn Prince on the front line. Phillips and Hamilton in the backcourt. Wade on Hamilton. Back block to six. Here is Phillips for three. Yes! And the game is tied at 74. Well, we saw it in the first three games of the series. Game tied. In game one, it was Detroit that had the poise. In games two and three, it was Miami. Who will have it tonight when it counts the most? Six unanswered by the Pistons. Wade looking for the step back on Hamilton. Here is Wade. He is fouled. Foul committed by Hamilton. That is number four. Doug, here's where you were talking about the tie games in this series in the fourth quarter. Take a look, games one, two, and three. It all came down to fourth quarter execution. Game one, 10 to one run to end the game for Detroit. Look at games two and three. And that's when the Pistons kind of came undone. That game three in particular with the technical fouls, the silly plays. We'll see who gets it done here tonight. Wade met by Ben Wallace, rebounded by Eldon Campbell. Well, in Detroit, they refer to Chauncey Phillips as Mr. Big Shot at the terrific run of the NBA Finals. He was the guy that sparked the Pistons in game one, scoring eight of those 10 points in the 10 1 run. Campbell lost it. Eddie Jones on the run. Wade at no angle. And uh, Jones with it stepped out of bounds. So the ball back to Detroit. Normally you would see Dwayne Wade go up with a tremendous amount of power on a play like that. You could see his physical limitations. He had to flip the ball at the basket. Joey Crawford helping him up underneath the basket. That's one of those, though, maybe with Dwayne Wade feeling the way he does right now, Marv, you sort of pull that ball back out and make sure you get a good possession. And you can see how difficult it was for Wade to be helped back up. He was holding his half when he went down, was being helped up by the official Joey Crawford. And of let's go heat here at American Airlines Arena. Hamilton with the lead. Then Wallace with the stuff. Ben Wallace slamming it to give Detroit a two-point advantage. Miami's done a nice job all night of weak side help, the rotation on that screen and roll. Nobody came that time, allowing Wallace to get to the hole. Pistons with eight consecutive points. And Wallace defending on Shaquille O'Neal and is called for the foul. That is only his first, as you mentioned. Well, you, you're not going to let him lay the ball in the basket. He's got he's got five more fouls to use. And this is where Shaq, Marby's always prided himself on saying when he had to make them, he would make them. Well, this this is never more evident than right now. These are crucial foul shots. So this seventh and deciding game of the Eastern Conference Final has come down in the last three minutes and 20 seconds as Shaquille O'Neal hits on his first. The winner here tonight will face the San Antonio Spurs. The NBA Finals getting underway this Thursday at 8.30 Eastern Time on ABC. Jack now one of three at the line. How about that? Remember now in game three, he made six in a row when the game was really in the balance and it pushed him to the victory. We are tied at 76. Hamilton played by Eddie Jones. Rasheed Wallace working on Gadonis Haslam. Oh. Haslam did a good job. He forced him into that angle shot. Wade is back. Shaq said, bring me the basketball right now. See, he made two free throws. He wants that ball back. O'Neal going fast. Miami with a two-point lead. 2.35 remaining in this fourth quarter. Ashley comes out to help. Phillips for a three. Long rebound is fielded by Damon Jones. Don't need a home run. Singles right now. No home runs unless it's wide open. Miami with the ball, they lead by two. 
O'Neal gives it back. Damon Jones with nowhere to go. He got caught in midair. Leading to this. Phillips with the whip pass. Hamilton scores if the game is tied at 78. Turnovers leading to easy baskets. It's the story of the series for Detroit. You can't give up any easy ones right now if you're Miami. Wade saw the opening, finding O'Neal. He is fouled. He's hit by Ben Wallace. And a big break for Detroit because it looked like he had a dunk and he was just enough off balance to not be able to dunk the ball. Otherwise, a possible three-point play. Now, he has to make both to give them a two-point lead. I'll take a look at the penetration from Wade. He throws it up to the rim and... You're right, good foul by Ben Wallace, negating that easy two. We'll see if he can knock down a couple more free throws. Back now, two out of five at the line. He has 24 points. He's hit three of his last four. Miami has a one-point lead with a minute 40 to play in this fourth quarter. Shot clock at 10. Rasheed Wallace over Haslam draws the foul. Both teams are over the foul limit. Haslam committing his third. Rasheed Wallace to the line for the first time. Mark, I remember the other night after the game was over, we were riding home and we were talking about game seven. I said, you want more? We could probably put four minutes on the clock and just play. And that's basically what it is right now. Who's going to win the last four minutes of this game? And who's going to make free throws? We're seeing a 70% free throw shooter during the season. It's tied the game at 79. It has been an outstanding game. For Wallace, 7 of 12, 17 points. He does have five personal fouls. And Dwayne Wade has not scored since 12 points in the third quarter. He had that nice rush, has not scored since. Couple of huge free throws for Rajiv. Pistons lead by one. We've had 10 ties, six lead changes. Now Wade with the jumper. Last touch by Miami. Eddie Jones had it knocked away and lost it out of bounds. Wade has now missed his last four shot attempts. So the Pistons with a one-point lead and the ball. We come up on one minute remaining in the fourth. Shot clock to seven. Prince. Oh, the rebound by the Seahawks. Wallace on the putback. Detroit leads by three. Miami takes. He's only scored 13 points against this tenacious Piston defense here in this fourth period. And if you're Detroit, I think you foul Shaq if he gets the ball down on the block. Wade spinning. Hamilton got a piece of it, and it's a jump ball. Rip Hamilton and Rasheed Wallace doubling up on Dwayne Wade, and they will jump it up. And if you watch Rasheed Wallace on that play, he was not even guarding his guy. He was standing there waiting after Rip Hamilton turned him. He was going to run him right into Rasheed Wallace. Let's see if he can control this tip. I would think it would be difficult for Wade to get up there with that rib injury. Well, he gave it a shot, and on the deflection, it's handled by Prince. So the Pistons in possession. They lead by three. 40 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Watch Rasheed Wallace now. He likes to roll out off these double screens and shoot a three over here on this other side of the floor. As I mentioned Miami over the foul limit. Shot clock down to four. Down to three. Two. Prince struck. Here comes Eddie Jones. Damon Jones able to race it down. And contact made. Joe Crawford indicating. Let's see. Is it a foul call? A foul on Billups and Damon Jones is going to go to the line here for two free throws. Let's take a look. The outlet pass a little bit too far ahead of Jones. He does a nice job of recovering and a little bump right there from Billups. 
Pretty big free throws here, Coach. Well, he's got to make them both, and then they can use a little time to try to get a steal, and then they got to take a foul. And right now, you've got to play free throws, quick foul, and try to make uh, try to make this a free throw shooting game. And Damon Jones has struggled at the line of the postseason, just 61 percent at the free throw line. And we talked about free throw shooting maybe being the difference. Rasheed Wallace steps up, makes a couple. Shaq did make three of four. But here's Damon Jones with a chance to pull it to one, misses his first shot. 79% during the regular season. Out of 17 and 3 10 seconds. So Jones hits one of two. It's a two point game. Don't let Hamilton or Phillips catch the ball. They double up on Phillips and the foul. The foul is given. So Phillips, who is an excellent free throw shooter, will go to the line. That's number five on. On way, Billups missed one today. Missed the uh, the technical earlier. He is two of three at the line. Miami has one timeout remaining. Detroit with two at twenty. Billups just under ninety percent of the postseason. This really factors in, Mark, to how many timeouts you use, as to how you have to play this. So, I mean, you either take a timeout here and move it, or you rush it. Try to get a score, then a foul, and save your timeout. But with only one, it's going to be very difficult if he makes them both. And Van Gundy doing some shuffling. O'Neal is back, coming out for Haslam. It's a four-point Detroit lead, and Miami takes its final timeout with 15.5 remaining in regulation. Detroit was trailing by six with seven minutes to play. They've gone on a 16-6 run since then. Miami needing a quick bucket right here. Wade and O'Neal cuts it to a two-point lead. 12.6 remaining. And on the inbounds, the foul is given immediately by Damon Jones and Larry Brown. Wanted the ball in the hands of that man, Chauncey Bellows. A great execution by Miami. They got exactly what they wanted. They got this score with about three seconds. They zipper Wade up to the top of the floor. And on penetration, Wallace is going to come over and help and just floats it over to Shaq. For the easy score Shaq 27 points tonight so he's had his best offensive game of the series will it be enough Phillips four of five at the line and receiving the treatment from the Miami crowd what a weapon it is to have a guy who not only is going to step up and hit big free throws but who wants to who chased that ball down the last two possessions he said give it to me I'll make him I've always felt like in high school and college and even at this stage right now late in the game when you've got good guards who can make free throws when you get a lead it's tough to lose. Larry Brown doing some shuffling now gets Ben Wallace off off the floor. Miami does not have any timeouts remaining. Once again clutch free throws by Phillips. Here comes Wade. Ten seconds remaining. Four point Detroit lead. Wade fires from downtown. Rebounded by Prince, and the Detroit Pistons are headed back to the NBA Finals. Five tenths of a second remaining. As you look at the Palace of Auburn Hills, they are celebrating what will be a Detroit victory. Marv, I go back in the fourth quarter. Miami had a six-point lead. They had about three possessions to push it to eight. They could never do it. Detroit's resiliency hung in there, and then their defense, their good execution, Rasheed Wallace came up with some big plays, and then critical free throw shooting when it mattered is the difference at the end of this game. Remember that one sequence when Damon Jones penetrated, threw the ball away, and then at the other end, the Pistons converted. I thought there was a momentum shift right there, and that was at a time when Shaq was really starting to dominate. They couldn't get him the ball. The Detroit Pistons coming from behind in the final minutes have defeated the Miami Heat 88 to 82 in game seven of the Eastern Conference Final. Larry Brown and his Pistons will head to the finals where they'll meet up with the San Antonio Spurs. Rip Hamilton leading the way with 22 points, 11 of 16 from the field. A huge game for Rasheed Wallace, 20 points, seven rebounds. Chauncey Billups, 18 points, hit the free throws down the stretch, also at eight assists. Tayshawn Prince, 13 and eight. High man for Miami, Shaquille O'Neal with 27, 12 of 19 from the field. Wayne Wade playing hurt despite 
the rib injury 20 points 12 of the 20 coming in the third quarter let's go to David Aldridge with Rip Hamilton Rip it was tied again down the stretch and once again you guys executed down the stretch what happened oh yeah we just defended you know uh, I've been saying it a long time you know that's what we do you know we play hard you know when it gets down to them last couple plays tonight we just want to take care of every possession and we knew every possession count and we did a great job of that Wayne Wade got going in the third quarter had had some big moments and you guys shut him down after that what did you do I mean it was a challenge you know uh, he came out and made tough shots you know the one thing I wanted to do is just make him work if I make him work and kind of tire him, tire him out pressing the ball I did my job Rip, you're going back to the finals a chance to truly defend your championship what are your thoughts man I'm, I'm thrilled you know it's it's like a dream come true you know coming from where I come from Coast Hill Pennsylvania and now to get an opportunity to play for my second championship at 27 it's a great feeling Rip congratulations we'll celebrate with your yes, teammates <laughs>